Ladies and gentlemen, Vince here. Hope you're doing well. Today I'll be showing you some apps that promise to pay you money for playing games. But are they actually worth your time? Let's check them out together. I hope you enjoy. First up, we have the money-making application Luckmon, game to earn rewards. So this is what Luckmon looks like when you first launch it up. At the top of the screen, you have your gem-based currency as well as your ticket-based currency. We'll get into those currencies in a second, but as you can see, we now have a spinning wheel option. And here is where the daily bonus system kicks in. Essentially, we have to sign in on a daily basis to get free spins. Now that's given us access to the actual spinning wheel. There's various prizes that we can win, so let's tap that free spin button. Hopefully we can land on something decent. Fingers crossed everyone. And it looks like we won five gems. So that's pretty cool. You can watch an advertisement if you want to spin the wheel again, but we'll skip that for now. So we get another spin in 19 hours and 34 minutes. There is also a slot machine element, and this is where you'd actually spend your tickets, everyone, okay? It states I have 30 tickets, so let me just tap the spin button here, and hopefully we can land on something decent. Here we go. What are we going to get? Oh, we got three coins in a row, which gave us 390 of this currency here. Let's keep spinning. 105 of the currency. And pretty much at this point, I'm just going to keep on spinning until I win something decent. And here we go. We got three controllers in a row, which means it's bonus time. Find the medal, but remember to avoid the Joker. Okay, what's this one? Confirm. 2,000 coins. What about this card? And I got the Joker straight away. Let's keep going. We got three buckets of coins in a row. 1,200 of the coins. Okay, so now we're completely out of tickets. And at this point, I can now show you what you can do with those coins. Top left corner of the screen, we have the free ticket button if we watch an ad. Or we have the leaderboard system. Black One is promising that if we generate enough coins, we can obviously increase our rank, which has different rewards. Bracket. So at the moment, with 8,800 coins, I'm in the diamond rank, which will earn me 400 gems for free once this timer runs out, which apparently is on June 19th. This is season 15, supposedly. Now, if we get the master rank, which is the top 25 positions, we will get 2,000 of the gems. So that's the bonus system on Luckmon. Again, pretty straightforward concept. Now, in the top right corner of the screen, you can find your account and the experience for your account. Leveling up our account will give us increases to our ticket speed regeneration from what I can see. You'll also find your trophies as well. If I go claim ticket, I now got 10 tickets for free. Because of that bonus, I can now come back in 23 hours and 38 minutes to get another 10 tickets. I just wanted to say quickly, everyone, if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube every single week, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Without you all, I would not be here. So again, thank you so much. Let's go check out the gaming area and what exactly we can do with these gems. So on the home screen, you pretty much have everything you need to actually start earning these gems on Luckmon. The thing is, everyone, depending on where you live, though, this is going to look completely different with different games available. Here in Australia, I have Block King Brain Puzzle and I have Block Puzzle. Now, straight away, you're going to notice that we really have no variety here whatsoever, which is a big shame. Plus, the gem earning rate is very low as well. So since I have Block King already installed, you're going to notice that it says I have 24 days left. That's because this is a mission, everyone. Now, tapping on an Offer is going to expand its details, giving you the name, the category, the gem earning rate, the missions, including the achievements you can get. Here you can see the bronze missions allow us to earn up to 26 gems for getting 1000 XP. The missions themselves, which have different trophies, which will then give you different rewards based on the progress you make on the offer. And underneath that, you have the special mission area, which has a majority of the earning potential for the offer. This is an offer based system, everyone, where you have to complete a certain goal. So what I can see straight away is that the playtime rewards area is severely limited and it's really based on offer progress instead. So let's just say we're able to complete these challenges and earn our 4,000 or so gems, which could take weeks, by the way. Heading to the shop area, the only cash out option I have here in Australia is a virtual visa card, ladies and gentlemen. And the breakdown of the gem currency is 6,300 gems for $20, 3,300 gems for $10, and 1,750 gems for $5. So realistically, this this Block King offer, if we had to go through and spend our time playing it, will give us around $20 to $30 worth of real currency. And with only two games available for me here in Australia, it really isn't worth the time at all. So when you break it down, Luckmon is a cool idea, and I do think they'll actually give you your money, but they have so much to improve on. Completely up to you what you want to do with that information, but at least now you know. 
Next up, we have the money-making platform, Erna. So this is what Erna looks like these days. Top right corner of the screen, you have your straight-up currency balance. I have $7.73 in my balance at the moment. It has a whole bunch of different offer walls that you can go through to generate this currency. Now, while they do support surveys, the offer walls are definitely where you want to head to. Just to give you a quick breakdown though of the cash out options, Earnart supports a whole bunch of cryptocurrency for anyone that is interested in that. And they also support PayPal currency for a minimum of $1.51 here in Australia, Amazon currency, Apple currency, and Google Play currency, as well as skins for Counter-Strike 2 and Rust. So right now, one Australian dollar equals 662 of the Earnart currency. So that's how we can break that down. And heading over to the gaming offers, it seems that AH Studios has a 50% bonus happening right now, at least in my country. Diving into the earning potential, Earnart has a whole bunch of gaming offers that are willing to pay you 50 to $100 worth of real cash. Now, granted, they're going to be difficult to complete, but the opportunities are there. And depending on how much time you have, Earnart has some very high paying offers, in my opinion. Always be realistic, though, with these type of offers, okay? I say in every video, obviously, the higher the reward, the more time you're going to have to spend. We'll simply tap on the offer button at the bottom of the screen. Earnart does the hard task for you and breaks down the currency for every single offer on the walls. We have offers willing to pay almost a thousand dollars there, which is absolutely ridiculous and you gotta love to see it. My advice is to go through every single offer for the games that you enjoy and see if you can actually nab some high paying rewards. Because at the end of the day, if you're gonna play the games either way, you might as well get paid for it, right? And with a dollar fifty one minimum PayPal, at least here in Australia, you really can't go wrong. The one thing you'll have to keep an eye on as well is the leaderboards because they usually have monthly rewards to their most active users or even fast events which happen potentially in a day of earning or a week of earning. The monthly leaderboards are willing to give away hundreds of dollars. Earnart supports multiple devices by the way including Apple and Android which is fantastic because I know a lot of you guys out there may have Apple devices as well. Now when I last cashed out on Earnart I was paid out instantly to my PayPal account including a small PayPal fee but it is 100% legitimate in my own opinion and experience. I recommend you give it a shot and see what you can get. Next, we have Cash Mafia and rewards. So this is what Cash Mafia looks like in its most recent update. It still runs on its Coinbase currency system. You can see I have 12,000 of the coins and tapping the redemption button will reveal the minimum cash out amounts for PayPal. For $2 worth of USD currency, we need 13,500 coins. $3 is 20,250 coins. $5 is 33,750 coins. And for $10 USD, we need 67,500 coins. That's how we can break down the currency for the offers we're about to see. Heading back to the home screen, you're going to find all the various ways that you can actually generate these coins, whether it be watching videos, completing surveys, or playing games. I highly recommend you check out the playtime rewards area first. Depending on where you live across the world, you're either going to have the per minute system or the per level system. At least here in Australia, I got pretty lucky. Because as you can see, everyone, I have so many different games that I can play to generate these coins. Now, granted, it's not anything major. This is pretty much the most smallest amount of beer money for this play time reward system, but at least they still have it, right? And depending on how much free time you really have, this could either be a really fun little way to earn some extra coin, or if it's not really for you, you can head to the offer section. But taking a look at Lootably, for instance, we are granted access to offers that are willing to pay us hundreds of thousands of these coins, which of course converts into 50 to $100 worth of USD. Now again, I highly recommend you go through each offer wall to see which ones will give you the best deal. Cash Mafia also has a leaderboard system. Depending on how much work you put into the application, obviously it's going to determine what your position is on the leaderboard, it goes all the way up to 16 users that will actually get rewarded. So it's nice to have this little bonus feature for people that are earning on the platform. The last time I cashed out on Cash Mafia, I was paid out within one single day straight to my PayPal account without any issues whatsoever. It's a fun little app that I highly recommend you check out to see what you can earn in your own country. As a quick bonus, everyone, I'm just letting you know my app Coin Racer Wealth and Treasure has been released on the Play Store. This is what it looks like when you launch it up. Essentially, it's one of these little car racing games where you have to avoid the hazards and pick up rewards. Pretty straightforward. There are currently three skins you can choose from, and all you have to do is simply tap the two arrows at the bottom of the screen, and as I said, pick up the rewards and avoid these hazards. The hazards are randomly generated, and the ultimate goal is to last for two minutes to get a huge amount of tokens at the end. So while it's not a money-making application as such, it's my Discord community-based one. 
one. And as you see, I just wrecked. Tapping on the store button at the bottom of the screen will show you the token system. And if you can get your tokens to 2 million and join the Discord, you'll be entered into fun Discord community giveaways. And on the flip side, being a part of the community as well will give you access to my YouTube giveaways. And that's for real PayPal money. So again, while the app is not a money-making app, being a part of the community Discord will help us all grow together. So you can find a link to my Coin Racer game in the description below, everyone. And just keep in mind, I also have the Rock, Paper, Scissors game as well. So we now have two community games, which is awesome. With the same exact concept of getting to 2 million tokens, by the way. The community leaderboard is getting more competitive day by day. You definitely get involved and get rewarded. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my channel for almost a thousand money-making reviews. I'll catch you all next time.